Hi all and welcome back to Scrappy Happy and me today with my 11th entry into my challenge and this is a big entry um, this is from um, Dennis who is here on YouTube I'll put his link in the description box below now we haven't talked too much but we've um, connected over a few um, videos on YouTube and now um, he sent me his entry and too many goodies like it was too nice of him to send me this it was too much and thank you so much i'm really grateful anyway i'll just read the note what we're on top what i found off dennis straight away it says it just says um shane i hope you enjoy the items i have made and the crochet box he's made and have fun with the extra goodies and then his address so first of all i'll show you the box he has made me, the um, crocheted box. I hope I'm saying it right. And he put it in this little tin for me to um, just for to keep it safe. And then I'm probably going to alter it. And then on the top of it is all this jewellery wire because I know Dennis is into more crochet and jewellery making sort of thing. So he given me a heap load of jewellery wire. And then inside is. A very cute little box what he had made for me I'll just try and focus in to make it a bit better and this is it going all the way around very sturdy and strong and you take the top bit off first and then this is just layers and layers really thin it tidily neatly done beautiful work and then this little bobble at the top then that just sits nicely on there like that. And then around the top of it is stitched these beads to cut for sturdiness really. And it's it does really, really keep it sturdy. And then inside is some just little flowers, but it's probably been hand um grown in his house. So they're all the way from Hollywood. That's the inside of the box, lined with paper and then this beautiful trim going all the way around the edges. Then this is the bottom. And then inside was this beautiful pin, which is um, a dragonfly, which is absolutely beautiful. So that was his entry into my challenge. And then the box is just full of full and full of extra goodies that I don't even know how to use which he says he's going to put some tutorials up soon of how to use most of his stuff so I'll just pick out this first he's got it all wrapped up lovely which I've already unwrapped just to save some time and he's wrapped up in this really nice gift paper and this one is Take out these beautiful pins. These are really nice. They're really nice. I really do like them. And then inside is a knitted scarf, and this fits my son. So I'll def he's definitely wearing this scarf. So thank you for that, Dennis. That's really, really nice, and something extra, really nice to do. To knit a scarf for my son, so thank you very much for that. And it's lovely colours and pattern. He's just got a new jacket, what's green, so this will go really well with his new jacket. And then the next one is this one. Just cut it to save time to get into it. Again, wrapped up in the be most beautiful paper, gift wrapped it could have ever been wrapped up in and inside of here are these little gems little glittery gems heart shaped ones another pack of them and some glass beads in our different variety I definitely like these ones these are really nice I used to do beadery when I used to do textiles back in um, college <clears throat> I really do like them be them coloured beads 
And then the next one is this massive, massive box. This box is stuffed so, so much in. And I was just blown away when I opened just this box, but instead of opening everything else, in here is filled with all everything to start up starting making jewellery. Gifted me some of these beautiful metal pieces, which are really absolutely gorgeous pieces. And gifted me about ten of them in there. I'll try and do this within ten minutes, but I don't reckon it will be. In this bag here is some little I'd say I don't know what most of these are for because I'm a paper crafter, so it's going to be really interesting to learn how to jewellery craft. So there's these. These beads are really, really cute. I really do like these skull beads, candy skull beads. They're really cute. Absolutely love that. Thank you so much. And these are absolutely gorgeous and glamorous for... Probably my paper craft and I'll use these for. Four of them. Some silver chain. Some 8mm little balls. These, I've seen on his, um, the pin, I've seen, um, you make like a beaded um, cushion thing out of these. So I'm very interested to have a look on how to do that. So thank you for gifting me them. And then he's gifted me six of these large pins, three in gold and three in silver. Here is some beautiful beads, all already strung up. Some of this really pretty purple ribbon. A hundred of these, um, like, dagger-shaped jewellery making pieces and here are a variety of different beads and pearls and not jewellery making pieces see they're one of these large skulls this is really really cute I really do like these skulls very much and then these two extra large acrylic Roses in white, some more beads and pearls. These are really beautiful for my paper crafting. What I can do with these, they're like little leaf charms. Some gold chain, some beautiful golden butterfly metal pieces. I'm trying to not take too long. Because the videos take too long to upload, but when I first initially opened this, I was really, really shocked and overwhelmed with how much he'd gifted me. Some more jewellery bits, beads, another load of beads. These are like a glass bead. Some more glass beads, really thick glass beads. Some earring hoops to make earrings, so I'll definitely be making my partner some earrings out of these. Some of these. And then some ribbon what says coffee on it, and then these three little tubes of beads. So that's all that, just in that one box, and then it still carries on. In this one, which is already opened, it's just a baggy full of chimes and goodies. Which I'll show you a couple of them, my favourite pieces. This is really, really, really cute. And I love the Asian themed. This is a really cute piece. And then there's just loads of chimes and extra bits and pieces. What are really nice for paper crafting as well as jewellery making. These little scissors. 
so that was them as well. And then last but not least is crochet stuff, what he's, he's made and gifted me. Um, I, I, I've already been looking at some tutorials to start doing some of these myself. So now I've got some bits off Dennis to start up already. I've gifted me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colours of, um, it's, I think it's wool, no it's cotton. So all them do different colours, ready for crocheting myself, because I'm going to learn how to do it because I like these from a paper craft, what I do. And then it's handmade doily, another handmade doily, crocheted doily, this handmade border piece. And then there's just a load of handmade flowers what he had done, which will be going on you'll be seeing a lot on my craft projects what I'm doing. A bunch of them there and then he did some of my favourite colour purple for me. There. Really be beautifully done. That would look really nice with a flat back pearl in the centre. Really neatly done. So thank you so much, Dennis, for your entry into my challenge, and it is mostly appreciated. Everything you've gifted me, it's crazy. It's beyond, it's beyond thinkable. So thank you for watching, Scrappy Happy.